For generations, gardeners have been told the key to fertile soil is building a compost pile. Layer the browns, add the greens, water it, turn it, and wait months until it transforms into something usable. But if compost piles were the only way to restore fertility, then forests and meadows would collapse within years. The truth is, nature has been running its own soil rebuilding system long before humans started stacking organic matter in bins. And it does it better, faster, and with less effort than the average gardener spends turning heaps of half-rotted scraps. If you want to unlock a healthier, more sustainable way to build your soil, stop obsessing over the pile and start working with the systems that already thrive on the forest floor. Walk through a woodland and look down. The soil beneath your feet is soft, dark, and alive with fungi, worms, and microbes. There are no compost bins, no steaming piles, no gardeners flipping heaps of leaves. Instead, fertility is built layer by layer as fallen leaves, twigs, and organic matter settle on the ground. Rain keeps it moist, fungi thread through the debris, and earthworms carry nutrients downward. This steady recycling creates a living mulch that feeds the soil from the top down, turning raw materials directly into humus without ever needing to finish in a pile. That forest system is exactly what gardeners can copy at home. Instead of isolating organic matter into a compost heap, bring it back into your soil surface where life is waiting to process it. This is where techniques like sheet mulching and cover cropping prove far more effective than the traditional pile. Sheet mulching is one of the simplest ways to replicate the forest floor in your garden. You begin with a layer of cardboard or thick paper as a weed barrier, then build alternating layers of organic matter directly on top of your soil. Start with a carbon-rich layer such as straw, shredded leaves, or wood chips, followed by a nitrogen-rich layer like grass clippings or vegetable scraps. Continue layering until you reach about a foot thick, finishing with mulch to seal in moisture. Over time, this stacked blanket begins to break down from the top while roots and soil organisms work from beneath. Worms pull food down, fungi knit through the layers, and microbes mineralize nutrients into forms plants can use. In just a season, the sheet mulch transforms into soil that feels like it came straight out of the forest. Unlike a compost pile that takes months to mature, this system feeds your beds while decomposition is happening. For every bucket of kitchen scraps, add two buckets of carbon-rich cover like straw or leaves. This simple 2 to 1 ratio keeps smells down, balances the breakdown, and ensures steady fertility without piles. Another way nature restores soil without compost piles is through plants themselves. On a forest edge or in a meadow, living roots are constantly recycling nutrients. Plants draw up minerals from deep soil layers and return them to the surface through fallen leaves and root exudates. Gardeners can copy this with cover crops that act as green compost factories in place. Legumes like clover, fenugreek, or vetch fix nitrogen directly from the air and store it in their roots. When cut back and left as mulch, that nitrogen becomes available for your vegetables. Grasses like rye or oats scavenge leftover nutrients, protect the soil from erosion, and create biomass that breaks down into rich humus. A good practice is to seed a cover crop mix in fall, let it grow through winter, and cut it down in spring. Leave the roots in place and layer the cut tops as mulch. Within weeks, your soil gains both organic matter and microbial activity without a single trip to a compost bin. One of the biggest weaknesses of compost piles is that nutrients escape. You see heat drives off nitrogen as ammonia, rainfall leaches minerals, and every turn of the pile exposes fresh material to air. By the time you spread it, much of the fertility has been lost. Nature avoids this by decomposing organic matter in place where roots can capture the nutrients as they're released. For example, burying food scraps directly under mulch keeps nutrients locked in. If you layer a gallon of chopped kitchen waste with two gallons of shredded leaves and then top it with three inches of straw, Worms will have pulled that material into the soil within weeks. Every bit of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium ends up where it belongs, feeding your plants, not evaporating into the air. 
The compost pile has its place, but it should not be treated as the gold standard for soil health. Nature's blueprint is clear. Fertility comes from layering, covering, and recycling organic matter directly into the soil. Sheet mulching, cover crops, and direct soil feeding are easier, faster, and more aligned with how living ecosystems build humus. By copying the forest floor instead of flipping a pile, gardeners save time, preserve nutrients, and create soil that stays alive year after year. So if composting has been slowing you down, it's time to step back and let nature lead. Your garden doesn't need a pile in the corner, it needs a living mulch at its roots. For more proven soil-first methods that work as well as nature intended, subscribe to Hydro Haven and share this guide with fellow gardeners. Let's bring the forest floor into every garden bed and leave the outdated compost myth behind.